Hello everyone, I'm Dwayne with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Belton, Missouri. You can find me on Dwayne's Luxury RVs on Facebook or Dee's Luxury RVs. And I'm here today to show you a 2024 Newmar King Air. This is a 4531 floor plan, one of the most popular floor plans that Newmar provides uh, in the King Air product. So the coach is on a Spartan chassis as all of the Highline coaches with Newmar right now. They, um, they put it on the Spartan chassis because it's a great, big, robust chassis. They use the Star Foundation also. Strong, true, and robust is what that stands for. And as always, Numar builds everything. 16 on center, just like they do in home construction. So you have the name Numar behind the product and also the, the quality of construction that goes behind that. And the King Air is the pinnacle of quality within the Numar line and the luxury that it provides you. You have the dovetail drawers and the construction, and I'm just gonna walk through the coach and show you some features about it. Really, really beautiful coach. It is a stock number, 17N232025, and again, it's a 4531. Now this coach retails at a whopping 1662470 Um It's got about $45,000 worth of upgrades and options in the coach. And I'm going to point out some of those to you. One of one thing is the cabinets. It's got this Modesto Rift Oak wood, and it's the suede finish. So it actually kind of feels like suede. It's not the real high glossy finish that we see in some of the King Airs, as uh, people like that as well. But they also like this particular finish as well. Newmar's been doing it now for about three years in the coach. I'm going to step up into the cockpit and show you the the dash and the display there so that you can kind of get a feel for what you would be seeing behind the wheel of this coach. And again, we're on a Spartan chassis. So this is the display. You can see your menu items. I have a smart steering wheel here. I can connect through Bluetooth my phone so that I can make phone calls without having the, the receiver to my ear and through the system can hear very well going down the road. We do have a phone charger right here. My phone is there, it is in the charging mode. And then all of these standard uh, features that you see on the King Air, the visor controls, the shade controls. We have daytime and nighttime shades throughout the coach. They're nice silhouette type daytime shades. So you can filter the sun when those are down. And then the, day, uh, the nighttime shades are black so that it really gives you a nice nighttime darkening effect where people can't see in and uh, you can live your life in the coach the way that you do. Um, on my left hand side you see the, the gear controls here and we do have a Allison transmission here. On the King Air we have both air leveling and hydraulic leveling. How does that benefit you? If we're on a surface like we are today with a, a concrete surface we can put those jacks down onto the pavement here and level the coach very nicely. But let's say that it's been raining <clears throat> and you're at a state fair or something of that nature. You're parking more in a field where uh, it may have rained, may be a little muddy. You don't want to deploy those jacks because of the weight of the coach and have them sink into the ground. You can level this coach with the airbags on the coach. So instead of having to deploy those hydraulic jacks, you are able to do it with the airbags all the way around. Um, so we can do that here, as I was going to show you. So if we see the air leveling in our menu feature, all I have to do is go up here to the air leveling, push the OK on my smart steering wheel, and from there I can set the auto level. I can adjust the ride height, high or low. And then the other features of this menu button is that I can go through the brightness of the display. You have all of the gauges right here, conveniently located and very, very visible with this digital dash. And then go to the messages. The ACC is turned off, um, adaptive cruise control. And then we've got the settings feature. So that thing that I talk about in my videos, which is the um, comfort drive, you will find that here. Newmar has it on all of their diesel pusher coaches. And again, we can go through the menus here, check the tire pressure monitoring system. We can set the adjustment on the sound. We can go to units um, in here. Uh, 
for miles per gallon, things like that. The comfort drive, uh, you can check your service, do a di diagnostics, and then you can set some configuration features here as well. I simply hit the steering wheel, this back button, on the steering wheel to go again back to the menu on the left here, where then it will take me to the trip, some of those uh, features about how many miles you've gone, um, your average speed, the fuel economy that you're getting, and then an info screen. So this is actually all of the doors on the outside, on the exterior, your bay doors, they're all in green. So it doesn't indicate that there's anything that is ajar with reference to those uh, luggage doors or, or storage doors down below. And then I can simply back out of that again Go down to the tire pressure monitoring system. You see all of the tires there with levels on them. And then the adaptive cruise control. And again, it's been disabled. So just wanted to show you quickly some features of this digital dash. Now here you see that we have some camera controls. So we can look by, if we want to look down the left side of this coach, and the slide is open because we're going to do the video. So you see the slide in the front of the coach. I can do a front view of our lot just before us, I can do the right side of the coach or passenger side. I can look farther out on the passenger side on the left, or I can look in the rear, rear, rear uh, camera. Now, there are a couple of different features here in that I can look back a far distance behind us, or I can look toward the back of the coach, down toward the ground. But if I have a tow vehicle there, I can look very closely where that tow bar is on the coach. I can look at the interior camera, I can look at trailer mode all the way around the coach, another trailer view, and then the entry camera where I can show not only the coach from uh, the rear here, but I have the a view of from the top of the coach here. And you can see the three ACs there. So anyway, great features. If you go to the menu, you've got lots of things here. Of course, the radio controls, your media center. This has a wonderful um, sound system with a Harman sound system. And I'm going to just hit this because I'm just going to start it quickly. And we'll do a little bit of this sound feature for you. So if you like music, if you're a music lover like I am, going down the road, you have very, very crisp, high quality sound in the King Ear while you're going down the road. So just a little snippet there. Let me back that up. We'll go to the radio. I'm going to turn it down here now because it'll blast on the radio mode now. But then you have your navigation. You have your nav go in the King Ear, just as with all the Numar products right now. So you can set that up for your destination, easily accessible uh, via the, the screens here as far as your, your instructions on turning left, turning right, um, things that are coming up. And then you, can, you have a favorites button as well that we could set up here as well. Um, Sirius XM satellite. This also has the Apple um, CarPlay. So you can utilize that for me. In my car, I utilize a, an app called Waze, W-A-Z-E, and it's a navigation tool, and I, I, it's more of a social uh, navigation tool where other drivers are reporting things that are going on. If there's construction, if there's a car on the side of the road disabled, things of that nature, you could use that with Apple CarPlay in this car, in this uh, coach, sorry. So, uh, heated steering wheel, you have the genuine leather seats and leather throughout on all the seating surfaces. We have a leather hand, handrail coming into the coach on the right hand side with the grab bar. And then these are ventilated and heated seats as well. Of course, they will turn toward the rear so that you have a supplemental seating space. If you have a lot of people in the coach and you want to have a seating room for everyone, you can turn these around. They do have a footrest on them, so you can actually recline. Um, steering wheel is telescoping, tilting. You can adjust your pedals. If there's someone a little taller, you want to move those pedals away from you for comfort. Or if there's someone shorter driving the coach, you can bring those pedals toward you. So it's still uh, very comfortable in the position that, that you utilize uh, the coach. You see the, steer the steering telescoping option here as it's moving in 
On the left side of the steering wheel also have the controls for the tilting option. And then the pedals and everything are on this side. Anyway, just wanted you to see a bit of that because we don't typically go into that. Um, again, the King Air is a very, very luxurious coach and you really have at your access everything right here within plain sight and also very accessible to the touch or maybe you can control things also through this smart steering wheel here. Um, we do have the mobile eye system here. So collision mitigation, you do have blind spot detection and alert in this co coach lane keeping technology. Um, from a safety perspective, lots of safety features in the King Air. So I'm gonna turn the engine off. We're gonna go back to the, the living area of this coach now so I can show you some of that. So I wanted to show you that uh, here on the King Air we have an, a supplemental screen so that the passenger can look at cameras, they can set up the navigation, they can help uh, navigate the, with the driver um, to help them, to help them just put an extra set of eyes on everything here. And they can control um, some other things in the display in the dash from right here. It'll just send it over to the dash. As you see, we have a wireless phone charger here also. And then some of the other buttons, we have a step cover that is powered that will come out and actually come up to floor height. And I'm a pretty big guy here. I'm 6'1 and I'm about 225 and I can stand on that with no problem. It's certainly uh, strong enough to hold me and my weight. And then uh, at the entry door, we have a screen door so that when that entry door is open, and if it's a nice day, you can get some nice breeze coming through the front door. You could turn on the, the fantastic fans in the kitchen and in the bathrooms if you wanted to, so it'll draw in that fresh air. Again, we've already talked about shades. I've got daytime, nighttime shades all the way around, but look at the elegance in the ceiling here also. A little bit of a contemporary design with the metal and then the wood features. And then if you can see, we have an ostrich type pattern in the leather ceiling as well. These ceilings are over 85 inches tall also. As I said, I'm 6'1". So even in the sidewall and the King Air, we have a taller height, even in the slide area, I'm able to stand under the slide uh, ceiling here without bumping my head or having to bend over like I do in a lot of the models. So the, the taller gentlemen or ladies that, that walk through the coach, they like this feature because they're not always um, hitting their head. And for me, it's very noticeable if I do. So I love that feature in this coach. We have LED lighting throughout the coach. You can dim that to make it very nice. And even by the theater seating here, we can go to the display, wake it up, and then you can change all the lighting from different areas, but you can also go into theater mode. So if you go into that theater mode, it will actually bring up the TV, it'll drop all the lightings, uh, lighting through the whole coach, drop the shades, so you truly are in a movie theater mode inside the coach. Makes it fantastic. Um, as far as viewing the very nice big TV that comes up over here. Um, and then other features of the coach. We have these electrical outlets. They have USB. They even have the C um, outlet here also, which many of you will be familiar with, with your, um, your phone chargers. And then you've got, of course, the just normal electrical, uh, three-pronged electrical outlets here as well. As I said, this is genuine leather throughout. This is a love seat that comes out and makes a very nice sleeping space um, on the coach. And then as we move back to the kitchen, again, Modesto Rift Oak suede finish, wood, hardwood, and the cabinets, just great quality of construction. I push the, the drawer here and it will come open and then push it back in, in place. But um, we have soft closed doors, if you'll see. Nice cabinet space above, another drawer. So plenty of room for all of your houseware items that belong in the kitchen. Now, forgive this little pad here, but we have the coaches winterized. We're in the Kansas City area. It is cold, 
We have freezing temperatures. We don't want anything in the coach to freeze up. So we do use the RV antifreeze and uh, we've got these little drip pads so it doesn't make a mess on the counter, although it will not stain it. And speaking of the countertops, these are quartz. Newmar, knowing in the first year that they came out with a quartz countertop, these were a little thicker and much heavier. So now they're not quite as heavy. You can simply lift them very easily and put them back in place and it's manageable this way. We have an island that comes out from here. Let me see if I can get it to open up. If I hit the button, there we go. And it will extend. So extending your counter space here an option for the coach is also a kitchen window, and we have one here that is rectangular in shape, lets a lot of daylight in. Of course, you have the great big windows with the King Air as well. Now they're closed, so we don't really get that view, but however, they're huge. They're a bonded window, and they're enormous. So very, very nice feature for letting in the daylight, the normal daylight. And one of the options that we did not elect for in this coach to keep that nice clean and, and sharp look here was we did not add the cabinets above the seating surface here, but that is an option. Those can be added there as well. And then just to show you, you have full extension drawers and you see the nice dovetailing that I mentioned earlier. That's the construction of the King Air. So nothing really has been forsaken where quality is concerned. Just a simple shove, put that back in place, it locks in. We have the farmhouse sink. I had that top off there, nice deep stainless steel. And then we have a nice wolf cooktop as well. So the induction on the coach. Now you'll see with this nice sleek, more contemporary look, no door pulls on the cabinetry above, only below do we have those. So just very clean lines, very clean look. But to expose the microwave, there is a button there. So electrically that will open up, you have more storage above and then a nice Viking microwave convection oven as well. You can close it from the same button on either side to close that down. And you see the nice elegance in the backsplash tile that they've used, very high end. Great drawer space for silverware. And I'll show you these drawers also. People like to see the space that they're dealing with. So you have the nice drawers here. Now this is a register for the Oasis, excuse me, yeah, the Oasis system. So that's your hydronic heating system. 85,000 BTU in the coach. It's gonna heat the coach very, very nicely. Toasty, keep you warm. But as well, you have the electric radiant floor heat below the ceramic tile flooring here that It'll have several different zones throughout the coach, but it will very, very nicely heat up the coach just by having these on if you give them time to heat up. And it does it rather quickly. On the driver's side, you see we have the booth dinette. Now this is the extend the booth. So each of these sides will extend all the way out and I won't do it all the way, I'll just bring it out until the cushion starts to come up from below. And this is the back cushion then, when it is fully extended. So it creates much more seating space if you should need it because of guests, having a dinner party, whatever it might be. Anyway, and then this drops into place. place. I'll take that right back and put it away. Very easily, happens again on both sides of the coach. And then just for timing purposes, I'll put that away when we stop filming. But here as well, I can pull out the table. We have a leg that will drop down below to create stability on the outside of the table here. So that if someone's leaning on it, you're not gonna break that table because of the weight of it. And again, this is still gonna be quartz here. Simply tuck it back up into place. It's 
where it needs to be and push it back into place. Now a lot of people ask about seating uh, as far as seat belts. So the captain's chairs will have seat belts in them, of course. You'll have two seat belts in this seat where the love seat is, and then a seat belt in both of the theater seats here. This is not intended for um, really for riding while you're going down the road um, to be seat belt in to be seat belted in. So uh, they are not there on on either of these on either side. Moving on back. We have control central here. So you can do all sorts of different things with the coach here. Now this has the My Rosie, and as long as you have Wi-Fi connectivity, you can actually send diagnostics from the coach to um, the, the app and through the app and, and through the coach. And also we have a tablet here that remotely you can uh, look at the coach, uh, into the coach from uh, somewhere far away, again with internet connectivity, and, and look and see what's going on here. We do have the central vacuum below, and then this nice cantilever door. There's probably a better term for it, but cantilever is how I call it. So it's not going to bang the cabinetry when the door's open, but the beautiful cabinetry and lighting and mirrors and elegance continued throughout this King Air. Lots of drawer space, electric flush. There is a floor port there for your central vacuum. So if you have a whisk broom, you can simply sweep everything of the contents that are on the floor to that space. It's going to take it down to the unit below. French style Viking refrigerator. It does have a lock. With an ice maker below in the drawer. There's your little ice bin and great storage. Let's close that back up. And then this is a huge feature in this particular model, this particular coach, because you've got a nice wide pantry, double doors. It lights immediately whenever you open those doors. And again, you have that just a little bit of push and then pull these out with full extension and fully adjustable. Nice place for sheet, cookie sheets, pans, perhaps pots that you'd want to keep there. Good place for all of that. And then moving back into the bedroom area, first of all, we have a nice privacy door so that if um, someone wants to retire early, they can do that. And then the remaining can stay out here in the living space, watch TV and everything and, and uh, give privacy to the person who's going to bed earlier, maybe the one that uh, stays in bed when somebody else rises quickly. As with the, the control central that I told you about in the hallway here, we also have the same thing in the master bedroom. So we can go to the home screen, you can see your tank levels, and the fresh water tank on this coach is 105 gallons, your black water tank is 60 gallons, and the gray water tank is 80 gallons. The coach itself has a 165 gallon fuel tank and we also have the option when speaking of the the tanks of tilting the coach to the left so that you can push a button it'll tilt the coach to the driver's side or to the left and evacuate the contents of those tanks as you want to purge those um, whenever you're you're dumping the tanks so very very nice feature it's on the king air but other things here we have the ac power you can see what's going on with that. Your inverters are on, two inverters on the coach, one of which will run air conditioner going down the road so that you don't have to run the generator. This has a 12.5 or 12,500 kW generator on it. We can look at the DC power or your batteries and what mode they're in and the health of those batteries, how fully charged they are. Generator, this has auto gen start on it as well. Again, the water tanks your climate controls in the different zones or different areas. That OASIS system, again, that's that 85,000 BTU furnace that the coach has equipped on it. And then you have 15,000 um, Pelican air conditioners on the ceiling 
uh, or on the roof of the coach. So three different zones where that's concerned. It's going to keep you nice and comfortable in the coach. You have a block heater, again batteries. Coach mode. Coach mode is just, uh, it's for dummies if you will. Um, not that anybody's dumb that buys these because the King Air is a great choice whenever purchasing a coach, but it does the, it sets things up for you automatically so that you don't have to really think about it very hard. So if you're actively camping, you just push that button and you see you've enabled, enabled your inverters, you've enabled the chargers, and you've enabled the auto gen. And then you can uh, enable your Oasis system as well. Um, but if you're, if you're plugged into um, electrical, then you're gonna run off the electrical side of that Oasis system. And then if you're outdoor, unplugged, it has disabled the inverters at this point. You've enabled the chargers and enabled the auto gen and so forth and so forth. But just different settings for the coach, like if you're indoor and plugged in, of course we don't want to run the Oasis system because we don't want the exhaust or the carbon monoxide that can cause a problem if you're inside and running that inside. So that's a safety feature. They've got it all set up again so you don't have to really think about it. Your lights, can be run from here, hit the back button, your shades and your TV lifts in different areas of the coach, all from right here and also in that hallway. And then your awnings, you can run awnings from here as well. And then your door locks, just the brains of the system. This is the Silverly system. Huge TV in the master bedroom, leather blinds, so leather here Leather also behind the bed itself. Another option that was not chosen in this particular coach are the overhead cabinets here. But it, again, makes it look very elegant, very sleek, very clean lines throughout. The beautiful sconces on either side of the columns here on the bed. Wireless phone charging. King size bed here. And look at the plushness of this particular throw here. Just another sign of the elegance that you have with the King Air. All the drawer space. Now there's an a, uh, option also for a fireplace in the, the master bedroom here. Again, the drawer space is what we chose. So you have eight drawers below here. And stepping up into the master bathroom, we have marble tile floors. Beautiful ceramic tile. Look at that chevron pattern in that. Very elegant. Very sleek, a little contemporary, um, just beautiful. Rain head shower. This also has the aquamizer system so that you, if you have water in your tank, you're not hooked into city water. It's actually going to recycle that water through the lines until it's truly hot. Then you can, then you can dispense it. Otherwise, it's just going to circulate it through the lines so you're not wasting any water down the drain. The fold down bench seat here. We have an egress door behind the stool, so in the event that you need to get out quickly, or if you want to load or unload the coach, you can simply do that from there. People passing something from the outside in makes it very easy to do, and I suggest to my customers they do that. So if you know how to utilize that door because you're using it a lot, then if you're ever in a crisis mode, you're going to know how to use it then instead of having to scramble around, how does this work again? We don't want that. I think that you should use it as much as you can in the coach. Lighted vanity here, double wide, double sinks or faucets, and all of the drawer space. And again, um, you've got the cedar lined closet here with your shoe caddies, storage on either side, the safe, of course, the lighted clothes bar, clothes bar so you can see what is back here. And a lot of the electronics that used to be over the driver's seat have been moved back into this closet out of the way. Now the King Air, I already mentioned, has a Spartan chassis. We have a 605 horsepower Cummins engine, 20,000 pound tow capacity. It stands 13 feet 4 inches in total height on the coach and about 101 and a half inches wide without the slides open. So just some dimensions for you. Um, that's the King Air. Kind of in a nutshell and a quick walkthrough here. I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, my name is Dwayne.
D-W-A-Y-N-E, Pinnell, P-I-N-N-E-L-L. So my email is duane.pinnell at transwest.com. You can reach me by phone at 816-516-5312 or my desk phone 816-892-5938. Again, I'm on Dwayne's Luxury RVs on Facebook, Dee's Luxury RVs on Facebook. I hope you've enjoyed the time with me today. I've enjoyed presenting it for you. Have a great one.